back to Secret Weapons, and today we're taking a look at the About 900 from Fairfield Circuitry. This impressively small little device here is the About 900 from Fairfield Circuitry, and it is a massive sounding pedal. This is a dual JFET fuzz from a really, really innovative and creative company. And when this thing got initially announced, I was really excited. I am a massive fan of JFET based circuits. Uh, when the Small Sound Big Sound Mini came out, a JFET drive, I absolutely fell in love with it. I think the texture on it was amazing. My favorite side of the Chase Bliss Brothers was similarly the JFET side of that drive pedal. I am always excited to try out a new JFET based distortion pedal, drive pedal, or fuzz pedal because I just think that there's a, there's a grit, a texture, a graininess to the way that the clipping happens that really appeals to me. There's a lot of texture. It's not overly smooth. It's really, like I said, grainy and gritty in a way that I think is really, really interesting. Uh, so when I heard that this was coming out, dual JFET gain stages for a fuzz pedal, I was instantly curious. Uh, and then I got this thing a couple of months back and it's been hanging out in the studio being used behind the scenes and just getting used to it and getting familiar with it. And I love this thing. I think it sounds incredible on single coils. I think it sounds massive. I think it's incredibly articulate. It cleans up really well. Let's talk about what it is really quick. The About 900, like I said, is a dual JFET fuzz. You have essentially two gain stages, a bias and a volume control. Your input knob right here is the amount of volume pushed into the first JFET gain stage with the fuzz control being the amount of, of clipping in the second stage. Uh, because of the nature of those two things, you have a lot of very, very important interplay between those two uh, knobs. Your input control is really gonna be your driving factor for this pedal in my experience. Uh, I guess the your input and your bias if we're being real, but in terms of just pure clipping and gain, uh, I find that that input control is where most of the magic happens in the About 900. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of having it almost completely maxed out and then rolling that second fuzz stage way, way back, as you'll hear a lot in this video. But uh, the interplay between your input and your fuzz to create different aspects and different characters and styles of gain stacking and overall saturation and distortion and everything is really interesting and provides a lot of bizarrely different tonal characteristics. Um, cranking your input gain stage and pulling back your fuzz gain stage is going to result and yield a very different style of fuzz, a very different style of distortion and clipping than rolling that input back and really cranking that second gain stage. It's really interesting how different those two sounds are, even if you're approximating the same amount of gain between the two. Similarly, you have a bias control up top that uh, controls the biasing of that second gain stage. And this is where you can get kind of big, more smooth sounding fuzz sounds, uh, stuff with a little bit more hair on the edges, all the way to kind of like full on sputtering, gated, dying, nine volt battery, broken amp tones. There is a lot of texture options. Uh, between those three knobs. And then at the end of it all, you of course have a overall volume control, which is incredibly useful because if you dial that bias uh, too far in one or one direction to the other, you're going to lose a lot of volume. Same thing with if you pull that input gain way, way down, that, that secondary stage is not going to necessarily give you a ton of volume. So having that volume control is really, really helpful. It's deceptively simple. Input, fuzz, bias, volume. There's no tone control on this thing, and that's because you don't really need it. I don't find that this thing imparts an obscene amount of high or low end information. It doesn't really change your mid-range character too dramatically. This feels like a very honest, you could kind of call it transparent in a certain way. It feels it feels weird to say that because of how much, you know, character this has, but you don't ever really miss a tone control in this thing in my experience. I didn't feel like I was having to make a lot of like major EQ changes in post recording the intro song. Uh, I think that this thing just really sounds well tuned. It clips well, it drives well, it explodes well. Um, and it's just all about experimentation. It's a, it's a bunch of different fuzz characters all stacked into something with a lot of really cool texture. A lot of volume control, a lot of broken and 
correct sounds in it and a lot of really cool textural low gain and hairy fuzz sounds. So I think that there's not a whole lot more use in talking about it. I think we just have to start listening to some sound samples. So let's plug into a single coil guitar and a humbucking guitar and see exactly how the About 900 sounds. I think that more dynamic fuzzes like the About 900 uh, are worth examining from two different directions. Uh, so we're gonna split the sound samples portion up into two different parts. Uh, part one is going to be with a single coil guitar. I'm using my 52 reissue Telecaster. And then part two will be with a humbucker guitar. I'll be using my Jennings Voyager with McNelly humbucking pickups. And um, the reason for that is because I find that, especially a fuzz like this that cleans up so well, that has so much interplay between the input and the fuzz and the bias controls, and especially with the lack of a tone control on the pedal itself, uh, you get a lot of very disparate and different sounds out of the different guitar styles, not obviously within you know, variables within single coil to single coil as well, but definitely and most exaggeratedly between humbuckers and single coils in terms of how this fuzz reacts. So we're going to handle it from both from both sides on this, which will be really interesting. So we'll, as a result, we'll keep the sound samples somewhat brief so that we can kind of cover all of the bases we want to. As always, let's talk through our signal chain. I'm using the Milkman Pop Top Boost into the Origin FX Cali 76 and the Bondi Sick As Mark III. From there we go into the Fairfield Circuitry About 900 Fuzz, and then into the Strymon L Cap in stereo, the Strymon Flint in stereo, and then out to the Universal Audio Dream and Ruby in a stereo pair for kind of a AC30 on one side, Fender amp on the other, uh, kind of like dual amp setup. Uh, everything bypassed except for the L Cap and the Flint and the amplifiers, this is what that sounds like. Let's start things off with everything at noon, and then we'll kind of just start digging in a little bit. We'll start, let's actually, let's take that bias. I think the bias sounds like most full, just shy of noon. And so we've got the fuzz and the input at noon as well. We'll start kind of messing with those bottom two controls first and then bring in that, that bias later on. <laughs> Super fuzzy sound. It's pretty aggressive, but it's not like wall of noise kind of thing. You can hear all of your notes and all of your articulation. And on the neck position. But what's so cool is even there, you roll that volume back a little bit. I actually really love that as a low gain texture. Like you take you take the about 900 away, you take away that kind of that dual JFET texture. Volume at full on the telly. And then roll that volume back a little bit. volume to full, and even with the volume at full,
So let's bring that input down a little bit and see kind of like at a low input level how much fuzz we can get out of this thing. So fuzz down, input down. You lose a lot, obviously. You'd have to compensate up with volume. I think where this thing really shines is take that input way, way up. Actually, sorry, we were, we were talking about the fuzz. Let's keep that input down. Keep that volume up. Bring that fuzz up a little bit more. Okay, but for me, where I think the joy is in this pedal is fuzz set somewhat low and then just irresponsibly cranking this input control. You can kind of hear. And that's where the real hair comes in. Again, even with that input totally dialed. that interplay it's so input and fuzz just by themselves depending on where they both are you can get the same level of gain the same technical amount of gain with so much different character as you go sweet spot high input low fuzz and let's put it that bias control so the bias control uh does a lot i don't know how to explain it it gets really saggy it gets really articulate it gets it's kind of like the the response like if if input is your sustain and fuzz is your texture, which 
is only vaguely true. Uh, the bias control is like the feel. So you can hear we've got like a nice dialed. Pretty articulate. it really change As you go for th further uh, clockwise like this, <clears throat> you start to get into that kind of like voltage starved, saggy, uh, like dead nine volt vibe. See if we can bring that back up to full volume with that totally like badly biased sound. Okay, and now we are back with my Jennings. Uh, because we kind of talked through all the controls previously, we're not going to dwell too much on that. We're not going to talk a bunch during this part of the video. Uh, I might add some commentary as we go along, but the idea is just to kind of like highlight the differences between how this thing reacts to a single coil guitar versus something with humbuckers. And this is kind of like a low wind, a lot of like like really clear focus, like a lot of clarity in this thing uh, for, for the Jennings. But it is humbuckers nonetheless, and you'll hear that difference right off the bat. So uh, here's my clean tone. And right off the bat, you're going to hear a lot more body out of this thing. And you can hear 
there right off the bat, uh, neck pickup rolling off the volume is not going to give you that same clarity and articulation that, uh, that the Telecaster did. Thank mm-hmm. you. 